Pickle, let's go to the hotline and let's bring in an old friend. I don't mean that he's old. I mean that we've known him for a while. <laughs> Although both may be true. We're joined on the phone line now uh, by uh, from Two Words, Two Words TV. Uh, it is our friend and the new author of the Locker Room book. It is Stephen Mackey. Hey, Stephen. What's up, Tep? How are you, buddy? I'm good, man. I haven't seen you in quite in in a hot minute. Well, you know, it's it's weird because we see each other every year at uh-huh. coaching school, and we get our annual selfie with me, you, mm-hmm. and Step. Mm-hmm. But then, like for the rest of the year, you're just in my ear hole every day at two x. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. You know? No, 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 no. But he said he said an important thing though. He said at two x. So he's only spending like 15 minutes with us, this is which true. is efficiency. So you know, you you got to balance. You got to balance it all in. You know, pick your poison in that. Um, but. Uh, so you are, um, for those who don't know, Two Words is, is a, a character development uh, a, a program, and, and, and you're a player development coach. You go around the state, you go around the nation, uh, speaking to athletic programs uh, and, and things like that. Uh, let, me, let me just tee you up for a, for a broad explanation of what you do. When you're walking into these programs and, and, and you're brought in to, to help uh, talk with uh, at young athletes across the state of Texas, what is, what is the overall message you're trying to get across to them? Yeah, so when, when coaches ask me to come in or when they begin to use our curriculum, which is a 36-week video-based character and leadership curriculum, the thing that I do is I help coaches and kids connect the dots between sports and life. And so we're equipping the coach to coach beyond the game, and we're helping athletes develop an ethos through the game of sports to help them see that one day sports is going to end. But before it does, they can learn the long shelf life skill sets, the integrity, attitude, effort, commitment, discipline, those things that will make them a better teammate and a better athlete. Uh, But those are the very same things that will help them be successful in the game of life. And so I help them develop that ethos. And we do that through curriculum, through leadership summits, and we do that uh, obviously through speaking. And uh, and this has been an incredible ride um, over the last five years. Uh, where I volunteered for seven years before that um, in January 12, 2017, founded Two Words, uh, and since that time have become the official character development curriculum of the Texas High School Coaches Association and close to 50% of the of, of the athletic departments in the state of Texas uh, use, our, use our curriculum. Did you say 50%? I was, I was I gonna be, that was going to be my next question because I because I, I see you on the I follow you on on social media and you're it feels like you have not stood still in uh, in in seven years uh, and, and and so so you said f- nearly fifty percent of the of the the programs in the state of Texas have have adopted your curriculum. That's right. Yeah. Wow. Over the last uh, over the last five years, it's just been super humbling um, and so thankful for the trust of the association and of coaches across the state. Uh, it's just, it, it's, it's really humbling. Uh, and, and, and maybe the best way that I can like communicate the magnitude of this is that, you know, when coach Joe Martin and all the great folks at the association, you know, and, and coaches across the state, when they, when they introduce me on stage or to their athletes, they say, coach Stephen Mackey. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's something that I do not take lightly, um, that they would give me that title. Um, and so it's just, it's been a really great gift. And, you know, since 2017, we did the math. I just, I was in Warren, Texas yesterday and, uh, home of the warriors mm-hmm. way out the piney woods. And, uh, and that was my 1600 speech Jeez. since 2017 to athletes across the state of Texas. That's wild. Uh, talking with Stephen Mackey of two words, uh, dot TV here on Texas football today. Get involved in the conversation. Hashtag TF today. I gotta be honest. You mentioned Warren and I was like, man, you and Matt step are basically like, like you're going for different <laughs> reasons, but you're both all like, you're just like, where are you going this week? And he's like, Oh, I'm going to go, I'm going to go out to a game and you know, some town you've never heard of. It kind of seems like you're that same way. Like you just, I, I imagine you're just, you're just showing up in these small towns and be like, all right, here I am today. Let's go. And, and, and you know what, man, six, a to six man, mm-hmm. like these, the kids, they deserve the very best mm-hmm. and they deserve, they deserve the coverage. And they, and that's what you guys do so well is y'all love on everybody. Um, and, and, and these kids deserve it and these coaches deserve it because they're, they're sacrificing and they're investing in. And so, Hey man, if, if there's a, uh, if there's a locker room that will have me, I'm going to tell you what, my big rig is going to drive there at, you know, 12.2 miles per gallon, uh, but, but dadgummit, I'm bringing the big rig wherever it'll go, man. We'll go left lane, hammer down. 
He's not kidding. It's a big, big truck. Uh, all right. So I want to ask you about this book, The Locker Room, How Great Teams Heal Hurt, Overcome Adversity, and Build Unity. You wrote it alongside Damon West, who was the co-author of The Coffee Bean. Um, why this book? Why now? Um, what, what What is it about um, this whole process that, that struck you as something that needed to be done? Yeah, man. So I'll take you back. It was July 3rd, 2021. And I was doing some some reading and studying for my doctorate, and I, I just this thought hit me of man with all of the all of the division and all of the hurt and all of the just against one anotherness that we see in every area of of our culture and of our our country. I just thought, man, man, if people could experience what it's like to be in a locker room. Where people were, were students from all different backgrounds, all kinds of different hurts, hangups, uh, histories, all kinds of different. When they all come together for one common goal, if they, if we could, if people could experience the locker room, man, we wouldn't have a lot of the trouble and the division that we have I- across our country. And and coaches say it all the time. Coach Joe Martin says it's the miracle of the locker room. Can't tell you the number of coaches that have said, man, if America had a locker room. Man, we'd be a lot better off. And so I took a flyer and, and texted, uh, sent a Twitter message to Damon West. We were Twitter acquaintances at best and said, man, let's write this book. And I laid my pitch out. And uh, and that was July 3rd, July 4th. I drove from Blanco, Texas, where I live, to Beaumont, Texas. We met for four hours in a Starbucks. And uh, and the rest is, is kind of history. Ten months later, uh, it's going to be on bookshelves, uh, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, Amazon, um, all, all across. And really at the heart of this story, to to, to answer the question is, is it's a story about a high school football team that at the biggest moment of the year faces their biggest adversity, mm-hmm. uh, that their quarterback uh, at a, after a, uh, at a after game party made some offensive and racial comments. They go viral. And it's a story about how the coaches and how the team rally together, overcome that adversity, heal that hurt and build unity. Um, but at the heart of the story uh, it's a story about what happens when we take our eyes off our core values and how adversity, conflict, and hurt will always follow. Um, and so it's it's all, it's not a true story in the sense that um, everything happened exactly the way that we wrote it, uh, mm-hmm. but it is a, a composite true story in that every coach in every situation is based on a real experience from uh, from a locker room in, in Texas. And so in that sense, it feels very real. Uh, because it's based on on all real things, if that makes sense. Yeah, it's it it feels you know you you mentioned that you know the the gist of it, and it it it's a it's a true it's a true idea, and it's a true thing like representation of what coaches are having to deal with and what players are having to deal with, with within locker rooms and things like that. So I think beyond and and correct me if you think this is wrong, but but beyond it being Daddy. literally true. Daddy's on the phone, real quick. Hold on a second. Uh, the, uh, but beyond it being literally true, that's prob- that's not the important thing. What 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 it is is it's representative of what goes on in locker rooms and how locker rooms tend to handle um, crisis and, and tend to handle adversity and things like that. Absolutely, and that's it exactly. And and the important thing to note here is is that this isn't a political this isn't a political deal. Uh, we took we took great care to make sure that we poked everybody in the chest. Now, we didn't, we didn't poke anybody in the eye, but we did poke them in the chest, and we made sure every voice was heard because, as cliche as it is, like, united is not uniform. Mm-hmm. And so the goal is not that we would all be the exact same, look the same, think the same, act the same, because that's not what happens in a locker room. But in a locker room, our diversity of thought and of experience is is a strength, that what makes you you and me me is what makes us us. Mm -hmm. And so it's less about saying, hey, here's this right way, and it's more about saying, hey, here's what happens when, as a team, we remember our core values, the guiding guiding principles, the commitments that we made. And we, with humility and grace, we chase after that, that we don't let our pride and our ego uh, keep us from keeping our word, uh, but in but but by humility and grace that we would would keep our word and and that we would listen to one another uh, and that we would that we would value uh, the experience of the other, but that we recognize that hey nobody's perfect and, and that making a mistake doesn't make you a mistake, uh, but we can't lower the standard just because you're the starting quarterback. Uh, that the standard is the standard, and so it's it's a book of, of reconciliation and, and like I said, it's it's one of those that 
if you go into it as an honest reader, and it's a short story, um, easy to read. Uh, even UTEP could read it in less than an hour. And, and, it, and it, <laughs> tough, <laughs> tough but fair. And, and as you, if you go into it, and, and what you'll see is that, hey, a locker room isn't just this smelly place where athletes are, that it can be in a large family or a small business. It can be between two friends, uh, that it's any place that, that we make a commitment to one another to chase a common goal and by our core values to live that out. It's The Locker Room, How Great Teams Heal Hurt, Overcome Adversity, and Build Unity with co-author Stephen Mackey. Uh, you can find the book at thelockerroombook.com. Stephen Mackey at twowords.tv. He is a speaker. He is a character coach. He is a dad, as you can hear. Uh, <laughs> Stephen, appreciate your time, my brother. Uh, it's great to hear from you, as always. Congratulations on the book, uh, and uh, I'm sure we will be talking to you very soon. Thanks, man. Y'all keep up the great work. We'll see you at coaching school. See you soon. There he goes. Stephen Mackey, uh, author of The Locker Room. Uh, it's thelockerroombook.com. Good buddy of ours. Uh, excited for him and this next step that he's got in his career. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you would like more and to be notified when they come out, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there. You can also watch Texas Football Today every day live at noon on texasfootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, and right here on YouTube. For more of the best coverage of Texas football in the Lone Star State, go to texasfootball.com slash subscribe.